In the golden years of life, peace becomes a priceless treasure. These are the years to reflect on the journey, to savor serenity, and to embrace the wisdom gained over time. However, the tranquility of old age can be disrupted by the company we keep. Zen philosophy and Buddhist teachings emphasize that not all relationships nourish the soul, some may drain it, a Zen master once said, your surroundings shape your soul. Choose them with the care of a gardener tending to a sacred tree. This wisdom teaches us that happiness in later years is not merely about what we do but also about whom we allow into our lives. As the Buddha advised, avoid the unwise, for they lead you astray. Seek the wise. For they guide you to light, let us explore the seven types of people you should avoid in old age to ensure your life remains peaceful and fulfilling. Each lesson carries a profound explanation, helping you understand why distancing from certain energies is an act of self-compassion. 1. The Constant Complainer Complaints are seeds of negativity. When nurtured, they grow into dissatisfaction that clouds the mind, a wise elder once observed a visitor who came daily to his garden, always lamenting his misfortunes. The man spoke of his troubles without pause, blind to the beauty of the flowers, the song of the birds, or the gentle breeze. One day, the elder handed him a cup with a crack and said, Carry this water to the hill. The visitor returned frustrated, the water gone by the time he reached the summit. The elder said, This cup is like your life, the more you complain, the less joy remains. Would you not rather fill it with gratitude? Constant complainers drain your spirit, leaving no room for joy. In old age, protect your peace by choosing companions who speak of gratitude, not grievances, too. The Gossip Munger Words are like arrows, once released, they cannot be recalled. Gossip poisons the mind, both of the speaker and the listener, a man approached a Buddhist monk, complaining of the harm caused by gossip. The monk handed him a sack of feathers and said, Scatter these in the wind and return tomorrow. When the man returned, the monk instructed him to collect the feathers. The man protested, but the wind has carried them away. The monk replied, so it is with gossip. Once spread, its damage cannot be undone. In old age, life's simplicity is a treasure. Gossip mongers complicate your world, filling it with unnecessary drama. Distance yourself to preserve your inner calm, 3. The Envious and Jealous Envy is a fire that consumes the heart, leaving behind bitterness and discontent. In a monastery, two monks trained side by side. One excelled, earning praise, while the other burned with envy. Unable to bear it, the jealous monk sought to sabotage his peer. The master said to him, your envy is a blade you hold by the edge, hoping to harm another. It only cuts your hand. Those consumed by envy can neither celebrate your happiness nor find their own. Their energy diminishes your joy. In your later years, avoid their company to keep your heart light and free, for the manipulative and controlling. True peace comes from freedom. Manipulative people tether your spirit, keeping you from living authentically, a young disciple once asked his master why he seemed distant from a certain visitor. The master replied, this man offers honey, but hides a rope in his hand. He sweetens his words to control my actions. Freedom is a bird, it cannot thrive in a cage. In old age, you have earned the right to live freely, unburdened by the expectations of others. Stay away from those who manipulate your kindness or try to control your choices. 5. 
The Eternal Pessimist A negative mind is like a shadow, it dims even the brightest of lights, a traveler once approached a Zen master, saying, life is dark, filled with suffering and pain. The master handed him a candle and said, light it and see. The traveler hesitated but obeyed. To his surprise, the light illuminated a path forward, the master said, you see only darkness because you do not light the candle of hope. Pessimists dwell in shadows and invite others to join them. Walk instead with those who carry light. Pessimists drain your hope, leaving you stranded in despair. In your golden years, surround yourself with optimistic souls who inspire you to see beauty even in challenges. 6. The Disrespectful and Unkind Kindness is the language of the soul, and respect is its melody. Without these, relationships become discordant. A Zen teacher once shared this parable, a man repeatedly insulted his elderly father, mocking his wisdom and ignoring his needs. When the father passed, the man found a letter, disrespect is a mirror, it reflects only bitterness back to the giver. Kindness, however, echoes eternally in the hearts it touches. In old age, you deserve respect and kindness. Those who offer neither do not belong in your life. Their absence makes space for love and care from others. 7. The Selfish and Ungrateful Gratitude is the root of happiness. Selfishness uproots it, leaving emptiness in its place. A man once brought a gift to a Buddhist teacher but grew angry when it was not immediately acknowledged. The teacher said, if your gift was given with true generosity, why does its acceptance matter? Selfishness cloaked in giving is still selfishness. The man reflected and later returned, this time with genuine gratitude for the lesson, selfish, Ungrateful people deplete your energy without offering anything in return. In old age, prioritize those who appreciate your presence and reciprocate your kindness. Zen and Buddhist teachings often emphasize the balance between compassion and self-preservation. It is not wrong to distance yourself from harmful influences, it is an act of kindness toward your own spirit. Remember, Avoiding these types of people does not mean harboring resentment or anger. It simply means recognizing when their presence disrupts your peace and choosing a path of harmony. As the Buddha taught, you yourself, as much as anybody in the entire universe, deserve your love and affection. By setting boundaries and letting go of relationships that drain you, you are practicing compassion not only for yourself but also for them allowing both parties to grow in their own way. Strength in Solitude It is important to remember that solitude in old age can be a blessing when it is embraced with mindfulness. Time spent alone is not lonely when filled with meaningful pursuits, meditation, or simply enjoying the beauty of the world around you. A Zen master once shared this reflection, a tree grows tallest when it is alone. It has no branches to lean on, yet it reaches for the sky with unwavering strength. This is a reminder that sometimes the absence of certain people allows us to grow deeper roots and stronger branches. In old age, solitude can be your sanctuary, a time to connect with your inner self, reflect on your journey, and cultivate the wisdom that life has taught you. Practicing Gratitude for Positive Influences while you are mindful of those to avoid, also celebrate and cherish those who uplift and inspire you. Surround yourself with people who radiate positivity, share wisdom, and respect the sanctity of your golden years. Buddhist teachings encourage us to express gratitude for these relationships. The Dalai Lama once said, when we feel love and kindness toward others, it not only makes others feel loved and cared for, but it helps us also to develop inner happiness and peace. 
By acknowledging and nurturing such connections, you create a circle of joy that amplifies your happiness, the wisdom of letting go. Finally, remember that letting go of certain people is not an act of bitterness but one of wisdom. Clinging to harmful relationships out of obligation or fear does not serve your well-being. As the Buddha taught, in the end, only three things matter, how much you loved, how gently you lived, and how gracefully you let go of things not meant for you. Letting go allows you to reclaim your energy and direct it toward what truly matters, your inner peace, personal growth, and the joy of living authentically. It is a gift to yourself and a step toward living a happy, fulfilled life. Life's final chapters are a time to distill the essence of happiness, shedding what no longer serves us. By avoiding the seven types of people discussed, you are not only protecting your peace but also honoring the wisdom you have cultivated throughout your journey. May your days be filled with tranquility, your relationships bring you joy, and your soul remain light and free. As you walk this path, remember the Zen saying, true happiness lies not in the things we gather but in the peace we nurture within. Carry this wisdom with you, and may it guide you to a life of fulfillment, clarity, and unshakable serenity. Thanks for watching. Hope enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Just click the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Also, Feel free to leave a comment and let me know what you'd like to see next. See you in the next video.